One block is a challenge about building a world from a singular block, and it should be no surprise by now how much I enjoy building and being creative with structures and formations of anything. And the center of my base is a singular block that will respawn infinitely and as a new type of block for me, allowing me to use a variety of building blocks. But friendly and harmful mobs can also spawn from the one block. Last episode, I began breeding villagers, pause, and starting a enchantment trading area. Also made some animal pins, but this time I'm focusing on farms to allow us to have infinite iron and mob drops. Also making more pathways around our base so we can move around faster. Whew, okay, we got a lot of work to do. Okay, so first off, I don't know if past me did this, but I did see a comment in here, which like, you know, I trust me, I, I know to do this, you know, like I'm a, I'm a Minecraft professional. But apparently, you know, you're supposed to go through, break all of the beds once you're done making uh, villagers, because then it kind of tricks them into thinking that, like, oh, wow, new beds, ah. The next thing is that you guys were telling me is that if I want to keep the other fish other than these little guys, apparently I need to put them into a bucket, and then from there they won't despawn i promise you I, I i knew that as well maybe probably not oh and i saw a few comments calling me baby girl and queen if you're trying to make me blush it's not gonna work maybe <laughs> Okay, so last time, I'm so happy I made these signs. You have no idea. I I don't really remember where I left off. Continue forward for librarians, go for all trades, and then this side is for every other kind of villager than a librarian. Got it. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I somewhat remember it last time. Um, yeah, honestly, I think we should really try and get the rest of them. I really, really want to get some, like, just maxed out god tier armor. Hi. Is your name Catbert? Oh, it's amazing. I love it. Oh my god. Okay, wait. I only have the wheat farm. Really? Okay, that's a big issue. Because farms are immensely important. And I believe the other big issue is that I didn't have any more dirt. Yeah, we only have 36 dirt. I this, I don't know how. So I never knew this before. I don't even know what I'm looking for. I'm, I'm just kind of just touching stuff. Uh, You, yes. Okay, so we take cobblestone. Oh, wait, no. Okay, if I do this. No! Oh my god. Uh okay, well I didn't want uh, Okay, so we can't use cobblestone. I need to use stone, but genuinely thank you for this. This is also like the top rated comment, so thank you guys very much for doing that and looking out for me. But what we need to do is once we get some stone, which I have some like right here, but uh oh well here, you know, you know what? Nah, we I'm gonna start cooking all of you. So what we do is we take the moss, you know, you do it to all the stone. Wow, we now we have a whole lot of moss, which, you know, we actually love this so that we could use it for decoration. Okay, so the person who left this comment was called My K My Day or Mickey, Mickey My Day? I don't know. I, I'm, I'm really sorry. I'm bad at pronouncing stuff. But if we then go, I don't know if this specifically needs to be spruce, but what we do is we just take the tree, you put it just like that, and then you just bone meal it. Boom. It turns, oh my God, wait, it turns, all, uh, Oh, that's cool. That's what I wanted. Um, okay. But it turns all of it into pods oil and then boom, now we have some dirt. So it's another route. I never thought of doing this. I didn't even know that this was actually a possibility. So this is really, really sick. Love this. So thank you guys so much. Uh, I also realized I kind of did this in like in a really stupid way. So yeah, let me just break this. And yeah, let's also break all of this. I still don't know what my plans were with making this. Like, I don't think I saw one comment talking about this. So um, yeah, I'm still not certain, uh, but I'll just, I'll, I'll leave this here. You know, if I ever like really need dirt, you know, then I'm just gonna like dig all of this up. But yeah, I really don't know why I made this little thingy right here. Oh, wait. Oh, dude, I'm such a genius. Yeah, just so we don't destroy any of the other grass that we have back at spawn. Wowee, look at this perfect place that I purposely made. So then I can turn all of this into dirt. Oh my god, dude, such a genius. Oh my goodness. There we go. Oh my god, dude, that drops so much. So if we're gonna be cooking a whole lot of stone in the future, which, yeah, we need to make a cobblestone generator, but I don't know if I've ever found lava yet. So we might have to go back to the one block and start mining that a metric ton, so that's gonna be a blast. But anywho, so this should be enough dirt to actually make our next farm, which I think we should probably do potato. Oh, you could have been amazing, and you chose to be really dog water. Uh, I would keep you, but I don't like you, so goodbye.
I banish you to the shadow realm. We still need to figure out something that we could build up top. I, I want to make layers, you know? I don't want to make this super wide. I want to make it tall as well with like a lot of just like, like a dystopian city. I think that'd be fun. So I think my plan was to leave the center free of farms, but we're definitely not going to just make it out of uh, spruce plank, uh, spruce slabs. That's going to be boring. Oh, thank God. Okay, so we can actually make the potato one. I didn't bring my hoe. Squids, come here. Let me use you. <laughs> Okay, so start up the potatoes, boom. We're gonna instantly just start bone mealing all of them. We want this to go as fast as possible. Ew, okay, you're done. We got potatoes growing. Let's go over here and start harvesting all of you. We need to get those uh, villagers uh, going again. As I noticed I only have one villager and it's probably not gonna take me that long to get the enchantment that I want. Hello, my darlings. I hope you like bread and potato. Okay. Hello, my darlings. I hope you like bread and potato. Oh my God. Hello, my darlings. Darlings, I hope you love bread and potatoes. There you go, my little Irish. I was gonna say, boy, never mind. Oh my god, I give up. Once I finished kicking my feet and twiddling my thumbs, I grabbed another girlfriend and headed to the block to hear more arrows nonstop. It's my favorite pastime activity. Okay, it, it, you're iron, right? What the hell is going on? <laughs> Like, jeez, I know you go slower in a boat, but th I feel like that's a little ridiculous. Wow, I am really shaking what mama gave me. What? Uh, that's bad. Oh my God, no. Oh my God. Oh my God. That could have been so unbelievably bad. Holy. Oh God, I forgot about you. No, no, stop it. Miss me. Miss me. Please give me gravel. Isn't it possible to buy gravel from one of the traders? Am I thinking wrong? Oh, no, 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 no. I think that's with piglins. I'm pretty sure you can get gravel from piglins. More block breaking today and our past presidential tangerine came to say hi to me. Are they trying to tell me something? Hi, Donald. Oh my God, there's so many jokes. I mean, I'm pretty sure you don't despawn, but you give me basically nothing. <gasps> oh wait, no, that's, you're the third one. Sorry, I thought you were the fourth. Okay, you guys, do you, do you all have identical trades or something? What is this? Okay, basically useless. Don't. Maybe one day we'll get lucky and we'll actually get a wandering trader to spawn in there that actually gives yeah, gravel, you know? Hey, you seem to be enjoying the video so far. If you subscribe and get me to 2 million subscribers, I'll use a face cam in all of my horror videos. Thank you very much. Holy hello. Oh, <gasps> yes, upgrading, okay. Oh, there you go. Jungle, oh, we might actually get lucky and get lava in there. I just, I still remember from the first episode. Can you shoot? Shoot, thank you. Oh my God, now I can actually come over here. So I still remember from the first episode, I said that I wanted to take my time with the one block. Like I really don't want to rush through this, but there's two things. One, we just, we need to get lava. Like we're, we're holding ourselves back from some pretty important stuff. Like it's really like skewing our progress on just like what I can actually build around here. So it really sucks. Two, I can actually just reset the block. I'm pretty sure it's like some command that I put in the world like while I'm playing, but I can actually reset the block so we can go back to phase one or any phase that we want. So like, you know, in the future, if it's like, oh, this is so boring. Oh man, I really wish I could be back at phase three. You know, we can go do that. Our jungle phase, this sure does give only stone. Oh my God, yeah, it's literally just stone. Oh my God. Okay, so it sucks, but I think we just need to continue this until we can at least, uh, maybe get like a, uh, you know, some lava buckets, but man, ah, uh, we need obsidian. Oh, interesting. Actually, yeah. Nope, I didn't. Okay, cool. Well, I kind of want to get those pairs because why not? Uh, you're not done. Uh, uh. We might actually want to just go and build a mob farm just so we can get a lot of bones so we can make a lot of bone meal and then, you know, progress the farm fast. Where did the other one go? Like, I hear you. I don't see you. Oh, awesome. Um, I mean, I guess what we could do is just attempt to, what was it? Like this one? Yes. Okay. So maybe what we can do is break this, pick you up, put you back down. There we go. And then here you go. Yeah, just chill with your brother. Like if you go off the edge, you know, it was nice knowing you. I'm trying to think of a spot that's not going to be ugly to put the uh, our, our lovely little mob farm or mob spawner, whatever you want to call it. 
I honestly think that we should go down there, build like a bridge going out, which is going to make it like really wrong until I add one more farm. But regardless, I think if we put it down there all the way out there, so it's kind of far away from our base, that should be fine because like I, it's possible to make them look pretty. It just takes like um like a metric ton of materials to make it look pretty. But I think that we should actually make a mob spawner right now. Okay, I think this should be far enough just so it's nice and far away. And then maybe what we do for this, just so it's not like completely ugly in the future, I'm just gonna give myself like a ton of space so that then, you know, if I don't like, you know, make it super cramped, we can just come back and make it look pretty. Oh my Jesus Christ, hi. Good God, dude, nice seeing you. Oh, see, this is why as well. Oh, you can give me double. But this is why, like, you know, mob farm would be good as well, because then, boom, we can technically have, like, a nice coal farm. But, uh, you know what? Wait, no, I don't trust you. You're coming with me. Okay, hi, buddy. Okay, so you want gold? Well, my God, do I have gold for you. And now we can make, uh, I'm pretty sure that's, like, what, like, four? Oh, my God, I have so much flint! Wait, when did that get there? Well, it was a pleasure doing business with you, little guy. Love you. I was able to actually get some decent stuff. Dude, I never realized I had that many stupid flints. You know, like, I, I thought I was completely out and struggling. No, we can just make, I'm pretty sure that was like 11 that I can make from all of that. So yeah, that, that's wild. Oh, dude, that is so trippy to watch all the leaves move like that. It looks like liquid. So it's incredibly basic. Like, this is literally how I always build on here. Kind of just in general. I got to, I, I need to get a new building style. All right, we'll do 20 of these just to break up all of the uh, stone bricks that we're going to be making. I think that'll look really nice. So I'm going to go like boom, boom. Make sure I don't lose you. And then since I obviously counted this entire place, this is going to work out the first try. We're not going to have any issues down here whatsoever. But I think if we have four stone and let me just go one chisel, it should look nice. Oh, no way. That actually almost worked. Oh, actually, no, 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 no. Okay, so we'll do it like that, but then we can go like boom one out over there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, I think that, oh, I think I like that. Oh, I think that works perfectly just like that. Oh my God, dude. I love my luck, you know? Like, I, have I ever talked about it before? Like, it didn't count anything, completely guessed, and it just, it works out. You know, it just works out so well. Oh, dude, I didn't even notice the stone running, stone running bond slab, what? Okay, so if I go, oh, they do connect. Oh, okay, I don't know. I swear on my life. Actually, no, I, I swore on Squids' life before. That never connected. But then if we do it like this, so for right now, it, it's gonna be uh, torches, but in the future, it'll definitely be lanterns. But I mean, like, yeah, no, it's uh, like that, that looks pretty fire. Um, What we can do instead of torches right here is then we can also put down some fencing and then the fences go up and then we can make like a nice little archway through this and then hanging down we can have like a lantern like right here and here but like on the ceiling you know so like they're hanging i think that would be pretty nice i think it would give really nice aesthetics Ooh, i like this i don't know if we should wait and so we can actually get lanterns like maybe from the librarian so it's even cheaper and easier. I think I really want to do that, but then we need to go and get a lot of leaves. But I think it's worth it, especially since down here is so unbelievably undone. We haven't even filled out this area. <gasps> oh, what if we make like a like a river, like a nice moat, you know? Ooh, that might be cool. That, I mean, like that would take like an astronomical amount of time, but it would be really cool. Okay, this is messed up, but what if I just pick him up and then drop him off the edge so he goes away? Like it's it's a it's a bit messed up, I know, but like Squids is telling me to do it. The worst part is that I need to go and gather a lot of leaves because this is going to be a very big boy. Beautiful. <laughs> Like, but that should be enough, so we should be good there. Okay, I think we're ready to go and make some beautiful magic. I mean, just from up there, this already looks really cool. I forgot, what was I planning on doing down here? I remember I had an idea. It was like a sewer system or something, or like I was gonna put all bad mobs or something down here. I completely forgot. I think that's a good height. So if we go up by three on you, I think that's 
I think that's actually perfectly fine. And I should actually barely have enough of these fences to actually do that. Oh, dude. Okay, big brain idea. It's not going to happen right now. But what if this leads over to like the stone district or something, you know? I'm trying to think of like, you know, everything that I want to build and all these ideas, but like what to put there because I hate building stuff that doesn't have a purpose. I hate building things where it's like, oh yeah, I'm just going to go and build this giant castle just to have a castle. It's like, now I want to build a giant castle to surround my mob farm so, you know, it, it at least hides it, you know? Like, I, I like doing stuff like that. But now we need to figure out a way for this to actually look good. Hmm. Okay, so kind of a big decision here. So I think I like the shape of this going all the way back there. And then we only have like one little block to actually see out of. I think it'll look the nicest, but I don't know which one of these that I like because we can either go with our lovely little grass wall hedge thing, or we could put a, another fence right there. It's like, this stands out a lot. This would kind of blend in. Like, uh, can I even put these on? Yeah, okay. So we can't even put lanterns on leaf blocks. So we have to do one of these. I kind of enjoy this one more. And then I'm, I'm, I'm just curious, what does this look like? Yeah, I think that's a no. But I think I like this side more. I think this looks really cool. Yeah, yeah, I think I'm a fan of that one. That one looks really nice. But actually here, in case there's anyone following along and building, if you just bring it out one more block so that then, you know, it's not flushed with that, mm, looks way better. No. Oh, oh man, we were so close to finishing this. I actually thought that I would have gathered enough leaves. I thought I gathered more than enough, but okay. Oh, hi. Oh, hello. <gasps> oh, uh, I mean, the iron's cool. That would be cool if I actually had some gravel, but you know, that's just next to impossible for me to get in here. Man, I, I need one of them to just sell obsidian or lava. Okay, fine. Come here. I'll bring you up to my house. I know you, you want to see the entire incredible area that I've built. Okay, wait, 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 right there. There you go. Thank you. Okay, beautiful. You guys are all grown up. However, we need to keep on making more of you and I'm not ready for him over here. So we're going to do the exact same thing from the last movie. So very hopefully I am not picking up any of you that actually have food in your inventory. So that's going to kind of suck. So hello there, you two little lovebirds. Don't mind me. Just need to redo all of this because for some reason you think that you still have children in here. Okay, there we go. And hopefully you can make a lot with all of those. Okay, now for the fun part over here. So I would love to make this entire area like stone just so you know it's not out of wood. So we might be doing that in the future. That, that might be some future goals we don't need to make this look beautiful because you know that's gonna be the plan is you know making it actually pretty so let's see okay i think this should be a good size you know a nice little 17 by 17 area <laughs> uh-oh that's that, that's not really looking too good there sonny um mm, yeah so it's okay well time to go do some chores so i gotta be really honest i'm trying so hard to not install the create mod really but my god whenever i have to go through and start chopping down all these trees i'm i'm getting closer plus i think if i actually use the create mod i might be able to make a auto like an automatic sorting system that doesn't lag out my world wait why did i do that oh that's right slabs yeah 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 gotcha okay whoops didn't mean to put away everything then okay this should be more than enough oh thank god i actually made enough Whoa. Okay, nice. Nothing should actually spawn down here. Okay, now for the fun part. Uh, we're very low on iron, so that's cool. So I'm gonna actually try my best to get all of the uh, the items that I need before making the mob farm. And I think for once, I'm actually just gonna use carpet instead of a slab. We're putting that over the hoppers. Uh, we might as well make it out of oak because we have so much of you. What? Jesus. Okay, you know what, bud? Here, I, I love you. I love all your trades. Don't block my trees from growing, though. And, uh, yeah, yeah there you go. <laughs> if it's messed up, you know, hey, it's messed up. But, um, yeah, hey, may maybe it'll make the next one spawn in faster. Okay, I think, I think we're good. I'm just really scared to use wood in case of, you know, fires and whatnot. But whenever it's thundering, I always sleep. So we should be good to go. And then after that, I think we should make an iron farm next. <gasps> Wait, do I have zombie eggs? That sucks. Okay, so we actually have to make this. <gasps> Wait. Okay, this might make it a lot more expensive. And I say might, even though I know for like a 100% fact that it will. Um, I also don't have the inventory space for this. So let's go make like multiple trips. So first off, we need to go and make the collection area, which I don't know how to make that 
look pretty. Like, it's usually always just the same. Do you guys like the sound mod, by the way? Like, do you like hearing all of these sounds so it's not, like, so quiet in-game? Okay, so the dead center... Huh? Wait, why... Oh, my God. Man, this sucks. Um, uh, hmm. I don't know why I'm making this so difficult, but here. Okay, so if we just do it just like that, so boom, we can still access you. I think then we go, like, that? I mean, like, it's somewhat in the center. God, that's gonna really irritate me. I don't know why I made you one. I should have made you two. God, it would have made everything so much simpler, but whatever. I think this is fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I do want to be able to see, like, all the way around like that. Then, just so it's pretty, I think... What if we add, like, leaves right here? I'm not gonna add any down here, or else it's just gonna block the view of it. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of want to use logs. It's gonna be so incredibly expensive, but I think logs instead of planks would actually look so much better. I think just to switch it up, because I always go with darker colors like oak or spruce, I think we should just go with birch. I think I can make this look really pretty with this. Plus, I just really don't care about this wood, so I don't really want to save it for anything that I actually like. <laughs> I'm actually shocked that they're still there. Like, I, I totally thought that they were gonna fly away from me, even though, like, they can't really fly anywhere else, but, you know. Also, I realized I never completed the, uh, the tree farms. Don't know why, especially since we have some dirt now. And then we're gonna be needing a ton of the spruce horse fence. I have a really, really fun idea with this one, too. So my idea with all of these Oh, it doesn't connect. Um, that really sucks. Okay, wait, wait. So then new idea. I wasn't planning on doing this, but then what if we put you underneath so then it actually connects? And then in the center of all of these, and then we just put down some birch like this. And then just imagine this design going all the way up. It might look better, you know? Like uh, this might be a nicer nicer look than it just being, you know, planks just going like that just straight up. So I, I think this is a nicer one. It's just way more expensive, which if I'm being honest, I don't really care about, but please don't hit my torches. And you're gonna hit my torches. Don't bring them off the edge. No, it brought... Oh, God, it probably brought, like, one of them off the edge. Oh, well. Okay, so then... There's the thing. That's one. I think we just needed to go up to 18, but I don't know when 18 starts. I don't know if 18 starts right here or if 18 starts right there. That's that's always my biggest issue when making these. But I think 18 starts right here. So we need to go up 17 more times. Okay, this should be 18 if I can hopefully count. So I'm hoping that's right. Awesome. I'm so good. By the way, if I ever die, I don't think I'm going to be continuing this for like a long time. So I really need to cut down on series. Oh, speaking of series, for those of you who don't know, I have a second channel. And then I always decided to not do Minecraft on there just so I can do like new stuff. But I'm doing a survival series on there where I'm going to keep it running until I have absolutely nothing left to do in Minecraft. Like I want to make every kind of farm. I want to go and explore all places, make every single kind of mega build that I've always wanted to make before. It's going to be a very long running series, but it's not in hardcore. It's in regular because I don't know about everyone else, but I'm getting really, really tired of the hardcore gimmick. Like even doing a hardcore on this, I don't really like it because, you know, if you make one little oopsie poopsie mistake, then boom, you lose your entire world and all progress you made. Like, yeah, it adds like a cool, oh no, don't die kind of factor. But you know, as soon as you get totems of undying, you know, you're never going to die. So it, that also just defeats the purpose of it. Blah, blah, blah. I'm rambling, but I just wanted to say if you guys wanted another series from me, that's going to be going on for a very long time. And I'm trying to upload it every other week on the second channel, Skies 2. So it, it should be a very fun you know, uh, forever series. No! <laughs> No, we were right at the top. Okay, but I need more fences, so I at least I don't need to get more leaves or more birch logs, so that's really nice. I think... Yeah, yeah, okay, so I'm pretty sure I need to actually break these, and then this is where I put the stairs. I I'm pretty sure. There's one... Oh, God, I actually don't... I don't think we can have leaves up here, because I think this will let in light because of this little spot right there. So... Oh, man, and I put them away. Okay, let's just make more of the fancy logs. Okay, so we'll break you, put these down. And then very quickly, so this part, we can actually use slabs. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay, then if I put you right here, you shouldn't be hitting any of my torches, and we can just go up and down. Yes, perfect. But then I think for the top parts, like, I, I might come back in the future and then, like, maybe add in some more blocks to it. But I also think that we could just get away with regular oak plank stuff, you know? Like, I don't think we need anything fancy for this part, especially since, you know, it won't ever really be up here. Oh, God, but you might be able to tell from the island. Ireland actually doesn't look that bad. It's actually looking pretty cool. 
How? Wait, how did water get it there? This is slabs. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh no, no, no. Things can spawn in. Oh my god. I almost just lost my world. Holy dude. I completely forgot that was slabs. I need to stop building with those. Yeah, I desperately need to stop building with slabs. Like for the, the floor. So I could do that, you know? Like I, I don't know why I'm still using slabs when I just have unlimited wood. You know, we, we don't need to be that um saving i don't know what to call it frugal okay there we go i don't know how you reach the bottom before that's very weird and boop okay at least now we can't fall into there we could walk around a little bit more i'm kind of shocked that none of these designs have really changed over the years like for the most part mob spawners have always looked like this like there there's newer ones you know but like eh, they require too much effort <laughs> Yeah, I kind of like this design. It's it's kind of new. It's not as ugly. It's a little difficult to make it not so ugly. If anything, you could probably bring like you could actually probably just use regular planks for the inside, and then the outside you'd have the uh, the fences like this with the uh, leaves there. But then you have the log. That's a giant wiener. Like if you don't look at the top, then it's like a bone. But then right now, it looks like a really big wiener. Nothing up here, nothing up here. Sweet, okay, good, we're safe. Hopefully I have enough wood. I didn't burn any more. I also love this mod. Like being able to like move around my camera freely, have my character move like this, this looks so trippy. And then being able to see all of my tools on me, like this is so cool. Oh, uh, now we need to just go around with all of our slabs and then we should be hopefully complete. I forgot to do this. <sighs> Whoa! Oh, oh, okay. Well, I wasn't expecting that from that mod. That's sick. I think I was able to do all of that just like that because of the, um, I think I have a mod installed where if you press one door, it opens up both of the doors, you know? Totally forgot about that one as well as, you know, I don't have any doors anywhere, but okay, dude, that, that was so sick. Ta-da! Okay, our farm should be completed. I don't think I left anything out. Let me take away all this water. Very hopefully by the time that I get down here, maybe things are gonna be spawning in. Am I able to? Okay, good, phew. Why? Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. Why? Why was there fire up there? What? Well, at least it seems to be working, and very luckily they do survive the fall. But perfect. We have a nice little mob spawner, and don't you ever blow it up, creeper. Okay, well, it- I mean, it's somewhat working. Why are they actually not spawning in? Dude, this is making me nervous. But to any who's other than being nervous, how have you not even grown a little? But here, let's just go around and start collecting all this. I want to move all of the villagers out of the little uh, breeding area. Oh, I actually have seeds now. Oh, we can go get those parrots. Are you both still there? Awesome. Thank you guys so much for being perfect little angels. Thank you. Okay. Uh, I don't want you guys to fly and follow me because like you guys usually get stuck somewhere or do something really dumb. So instead, let me just carry you. And then, oh, blue one can actually be over here. Yeah. Yeah, I like that idea. Perfect. I can't wait for them to start making creeper noises or zombie noises and scare me. That's going to be fun. I also want to do, oh, maybe, wait, wait, wait. That bridge could actually go to the next floor. You know, when we start covering everything in here, like uh, if, if that's a good idea, you know, but like, ooh, that might be a good idea. Okay, now all of you, don't mind me. I just need to move you all. Okay, so that took absolutely forever. So don't mind me. Just need to replace all of your beds. Can this break? Thank you. Okay, well, uh, do Tade and Avilitate. Oh, oh God. Oh no. No, you're both Tades. Well, um, so, uh, yeah, have fun. <laughs> now, speaking of fun, we need to make an iron farm. Maybe that's what we use the bridge to get to. Ooh, actually, okay, no, 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 no. Okay, we need the iron farm to be around an area that I'm in a lot. Hmm. Since I got a feeling I will be around here for quite a while, maybe, is this where I was planning it? Symmetrical, maybe also a mob farm or farms. Yeah, maybe this goes into an iron farm because pretty soon I'm gonna have to get back into turning all of them into like librarians, get some more emerald trades going, all the other villagers, blah, blah, blah. So I feel like we're gonna be over here, a, you know, quite a bit. I was only over there just to make that thing because, you know, I'll need XP. Hi, you're really cool, but I know you're gonna become an issue because you will affect my iron farm rates. So, uh, whoop. <laughs> Okay, so then I think this is spruce. That should be birch. Let's just continue that. Let's go and get ourselves a whole lot of pretty building blocks. <sighs> God, we might not uh, do a whole lot of tree cutting. So I think I got a general idea, but I do want to make it a lot prettier than how we're currently making it. And of course, I'm super low on logs. 
so bad, man. We need this iron farm so badly. Actually, it kind of looks cool off in the distance. I kind of enjoy that. So one thing that we need to keep in mind is how all of these villagers and then all of the future ones that are going to be here are going to affect the iron farm because they're most likely going to spawn in iron golems. And I forgot. Yeah, see, just like that. I forgot what the cutoff is, like how many iron golems you can have. And I want to say it was like eight, maybe like six. Boop. But I don't know how far away I need to build this. Oh, in the future, we could build like a nice pathway going down to the farm, the farm and over there to the mob farm. Because I just want to have like a lot of pathways. I don't like having only one way to go. I like to have multiple choices. And then here we could probably, I don't know, maybe actually we'll probably just make this very naturey. Very naturey. Oh, and then this can also lead into the little river that I, I want to make just so we can have some nice like boat rides going everywhere. So maybe this far out. Yeah. Okay. I think I'm a fan of that. See, and he's already back. Like they just spawn them in so fast. So the bridge going to the iron farm is only going to be nine blocks tall. And then this will allow me to make this section right here even larger, which I really want to do. So first off, I know that we're going to need some stairs. Okay. So just like that, which I think I like this. And then for you all the way down there actually here we'll just have this go straight across still yeah so i have that go across because i want to put some moss in here because i want it to be a little bit bigger and then we need it to line up about there so maybe this block is the last one Ooh, okay and then i think i like the idea of it being five blocks wide for a bridgeway going down there I, I think i think that's a good size so it's not too cramped wait if i'm gonna be covering this wait why did why am i using like a really expensive block under the, oh i guess like you know you ever go like this no wait why am i using an expensive block there's literally no point to it whatever okay so what we're gonna be doing is this so we're just gonna use all this ugly slabs that we don't care about and then we go and get the very pretty moss so ooh, now it looks like there's a very pretty uh, grass spot i i'm one short and you know what actually what we could probably do just so we don't block all of this so what we do oh and this also makes it like go perfectly into it but maybe we just use some slabs just so it's not so tall and then we can still see all of the moss so it kind of just it makes it feel a little bit more alive you know i kind of like this and then honest i think at the center where this is we need to build like a fountain or some trees maybe some stone like we we need something other than wood i really hate how much wood i'm using it's just i don't want to keep on breaking the the one block to progress towards stone but like god man i really want to use stone i'm so sick and tired of looking at wood whenever i play one block like it, it's actually bugging me immensely i, I don't want to do this but maybe what we need to do is actually just put a pause on building and we just need to fully focus on the one block like i need lava so desperately bad you know like i just i, I need some lava so we can make a nice cobblestone farm and then you know we can go to the nether and we can start actually making you know, more dirt because like I, I know the other way you know with the moss on the stone but that's so expensive that i'd rather just go to the nether and then just get some gravel to make more dirt like it, it's just a lot cheaper and it makes more sense to me hi buddy while i shake it up front we're gonna become very good friends yes yes we need to work on removing your weapon oh oh my god it's iron oh my god it's the thing that i desperately need oh <laughs> dude how is this a jungle biome like for the block it, it does not make any sense to me i'm only getting rocks that, that that's it rocks and ores <gasps> oh yeah I mean, I, I'm fine with that if you just want to stay up there and watch, you know, from everything down here. That's fine. <gasps> no, 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 no. Ah. No. <gasps> oh. Oh, it broke? Yes, Kaylee Coopwood the Pillager. Oh my God, we can actually move on to the next one. Oh, let's go. I know, this is just as awkward for me as it is for you. Okay, so I don't... Thank you, move. From memory, I, I think that's how this works. So don't mind me. Just need to push you up top. Hopefully you don't start becoming sentient. Ooh. Okay, then we just move you into our nice little safe place. Just like that. There you go. Welcome to your brothers or something. Uh, hi. Man, you, you're kind of giving a pillager who just wants to toss his crossbow away, you know, because it's just so difficult, always being so war hungry, warmonger, you know, like, you're given like you just want to relax nowadays. Oh? 
<gasps> oh, kitties. Ah, uh, hmm. I actually don't know if I should keep you guys, mm, but I know that I wanted to keep everything. Uh, God, honestly, I think because I don't know if they're going to be attacking the foxes, but honestly, I think we just put them in with the goats. <gasps> oh, what was that? Oh, oh, it's you guys. Hi. Let's see how to do this. Um, here, if I put you there quick. Come on, come on, game, come on. There we go. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Oh my god. Um, hmm, that was a little awkward. Hi, buddy. Help me. Help me. I know you want to go down into the void. I know, trust me, would love to do that myself, but nope, I need you up here. There you go. I am so proud of you. You have no idea. Okay, so now that I can actually do this, let's move you far over here, just so you never even get shot by an arrow. And you know what? You can watch my pigs for me. How about that? Oh, is that a panda? Oh, oh my God, it's an actual panda. Hello, buddy. Okay, yep, yep, this is the first panda. Okay, so uh, boop, there you go. Definitely just gonna start collecting those. Like I built this, I'm, like completely understanding that, you know, I'm gonna have to keep extending it. I just like really wanna put it off for as long as I can. But my God, dude, we have so many animals. Oh. Oh, wait, 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 don't, oh, don't go anywhere, stop it, stop it, stop it, no, don't go off the edge, don't go off the edge, no, no, come here, there we go, and then, just to make it easier in the future, okay, please come here, come on, yeah, come on, little one, there you go, come on, just make it easier in the future, just in case, whoa, if I ever need to move them, boom, I'm just gonna put you on this one right here, don't stack them up, oh, <gasps> Oh, okay. I forgot to look for this, but I actually really wanted to uh, get some of these. So that then once I get lava, just in case if I only get one, it'll take forever, but I can actually make an I uh, a, a lava farm. So that then after making that, you know, we can make a like a really large cobblestone generator and also go to the nether. So let's speed through these days because I was just farming the one block and also getting pillagers to break their crossbows, which I ended up getting two of them to break. I was on the hunt for lava for that cobblestone farm, and of course, with my luck, I got a bunch of allays. You get down from the bamboo right now. Get down from the bamboo. Some birds, some ocelots that I put into the goat pen, which I think they all ended up as friends because there weren't any more ocelots in the goat pen every time I walked by strange. I also ended up getting a panda, which is super dope. Then looking down at our beautiful farm, I think I want to create a harbor around that area. I don't know why, but with that bridge there, man, so much space around the farm to fill in, I kind of want to make a big river and a harbor for our boats and just make it look a bit more natural down there. So not everything around our base is just a flat and boring land. Trying to create some depth in different heights so we have stuff to look at. Actually, just so we can like breathe and take a break, let's just go through. Like we definitely need to tend to the farm, stay on top of all the villagers. Ah, let's just go feel the sun, you know, stretch these legs that I totally do in real life. Huh, wait, are they actually able to spawn in the our little mob spawner when I'm upstairs? Ooh, how are you guys doing? You want your toes tickled? Okay, let's go, Tade. You too, Tade. Oh, come on, Tade, get away from your brother. Oh, come on, Tade. Oh my God, there's so many Tades. Okay, perfect. I finally got rid of all of them. Are you okay, dude? I've never... Aw. God, stop. You make me blush. Stop. Okay, there we go. Okay, here you go. Don't worry. Now you can go have more fun with your brother and sister. Cousins too. Probably parents. Also, I'm incredibly surprised that none of them have despawned, so I'm guessing the boat just prevents them from despawning? Okay, well, it was fun. Don't shoot me. But, yeah, let's get back to this exciting stuff. Woo! I love phases that never end. No, it's so good. <gasps> oh my god, this has to be the last one, right? Right? Yes! 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 Oh my god. Finally, it's over. Please. Please give me a biome that actually gives me lava, please. Come on, baby. What? Hi, why'd you come back up from the void? I, you little, I can't believe you actually just made me destroy that. I'm, oh my God. Yay, oh my God, I'm so excited. Uh, dude, I have like an unbearably strong feeling that I'm not gonna get any lava from this. Uh, well, hey, at least we're getting some new building materials. I've never actually used, I think that's just mud. I don't think it's like something special, but yeah, I don't think I've ever used mud. Actually, no, I've never used mud before. 
What? Oh my god! Dude, no way, it's frogs! Um, oh god, I, uh, boats, boats, boats. I don't know how, uh, I don't know if they attack anything. I know that they like to eat stuff. Okay, uh, frogs will put them, uh, like, down here. Why not? I don't care. Okay, there we go. Dude, that's so cool. I think that's the second time I've ever had frogs. Yeah, yeah, I think that's the second time. Oh, yes, more. Hi there, little bud. Thank you for not eating any of my items. Isn't there a blue frog or... No, no, there's an orange one. Like an orange is red. I really hope I can get that. I'd like to get all the colors of the froggies. So I think I can mentally handle making this the last day for mining this block. I just, I, I can't stand it anymore. So that's why after this day, you know, it's it's gonna be a good one. But I think we should go and deal with the, the villagers. Because seeing how long it's taken me just to get through all these blocks. Again, it doesn't help that I'm in a boat shaking it with this man but if we get enchanted diamond tools possibly even nether right ones like if netherite has even you know have we even gotten any netherite from this block i don't think so yet oh my god yes we actually have a different color frog oh my word we're getting a lot of you guys i love it but yeah i think it'd just be a lot smarter to start going after all those villagers so just so we can you know start mining a lot faster and hopefully get through everything faster oh uh i don't exactly know what to do here um they're they're all gonna start dying uh i don't think there's any body of water near me for me to actually save all of them this kind of sucks at the very least i think i'm able to save two of them yeah that, that's if this actually saves them okay i think they can actually survive with fish we're, we're just gonna see what happens i'm pretty what the i don't want these ew yucky gross inferior bird Oh, hi. Um, wait, you guys carry blocks? What? No, that's definitely not a vanilla thing, but I don't know what mod that would be. Hey, thank you guys so much for all the slime. Dude, oh my god. I didn't even hear when it broke. Okay, wait, that's awesome. CD Shearer. Yep, please go into the boat. There you go. Okay, nice. And then for the last guy, we're just gonna leave him there until I'm actually ready to go back to the one block. I'd rather not have something over there that's just gonna constantly be shooting at me. And then let's just build something really fast because I really don't wanna leave those tadpoles over there with like all the fish. I'm just kind of worried that they'll try and eat them or maybe the fish for some reason are just gonna try and eat them, I don't know. Oh, tadpoles. Oh, sweet. You're actually still in here. Cool. I don't know how to make them grow up, though. I don't know if it's like a just a, a waiting game and then they'll just turn into frogs, which I now realize like they might kill them because, you know, they'll just be in the water. And I don't know if they're just like really good swimmers. So we might have to pay attention to them. So obviously, you know, we need to make a lot of librarians. But I think the issue was that, you know, I just I can't really get that much or that many emeralds. So, yeah, you know, we only got 30 so far. That'd be enough for like one more trade, which okay nice i've actually been collecting them what blocks are you guys oak and cool that is the one slab type that i don't have cool let's go back home okay wait 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 wait. we need to figure it out so i think yeah i think we'll do four okay so we just need four more fletching tables what's really surprising that i've been you know as i've been thinking about this with that entire tree farm we haven't had one of them spawn in a beehive do i need to put flowers at the base of the tree i think that's the requirement for it like i think for you to actually have bees spawn in you you do actually need that Dude, I'm actually so tempted to go and try and get a uh, beehive to spawn in. Because I really hate having trades like this. I, I want them to be on honey so it's uh, a lot more open. Alrighty, Tades, who's ready? Oh, yep, here's a nice Tade. Nope, Tade. Okay, wait, wait. Tade, come here. Thank you, Tade. Wait. A Villa Tade, a Villa Tade, a Doria Tade, a Keisha Tade, Tade. Oh, Raid? Oh, man, that's the only Tade not in the family business? Oh, what a shame. Okay, come on, Tade. Thank you, Tade. Anywho, so let me start trading with all of you. Let's go and get as many emeralds that we can, which... No, no, no. Okay, let, let's not use the good wood. Let's just go and get a whole lot of birch. So this is also a little bit awful because we're getting so much XP. Like, I'm already level 50, and I hate being over level 30. This is just a waste after that point with how much, it, you know, it takes for you to level up. Like, honestly, I think we're pretty decent on emerald trades right now i don't think we need to worry about much more than this if i ever get to a point where i have more sticks than all of these traders can take i'll be immensely surprised well it's gonna happen once i make a very large bamboo farm but you know we're just not at that point yet i'm more focused on these guys which god the sign isn't there but i think the librarians continue that way so okay this will be the last one right here 
Okay, wait, this is awful. Now I don't have any sticks to actually make anything. Oopsies. No. Oh, God. Uh, Because that lovely little goblin still hasn't come back. Uh, okay, maybe we should actually go and do our iron farm before doing all of this stuff. I don't know why I stopped the iron farm. Like, I'm desperate. Like, really desperate. I can't even make hoppers. Either I'm going to have to jump into diamond tools, which I don't know why I don't. Or we're going to have to go back to stone, which I really don't want to do. So maybe we just need to go into diamond. I don't know why I'm holding on to those. Because, I mean, once I make some, like, armorers and weaponsmiths and stuff, you know, we're not, like, ores don't matter to me. Because we can just straight up buy diamond gear and tools. Is that a cat? Um, hi, Boostifer Jones. Why are you here? I'm shocked you didn't go and kill all of those parrots. I actually thought that cat's wood in this. Um, here you go, everyone. There's a cat for you. I don't know why he's out here. Oh boy, it's time for my favorite activity. It's where, you know, I just keep on refreshing this a several hundred times because you're not going to give me something good. I should really install that one mod that just allows me to refresh the, the villagers trade with a click of a button instead of having to do it like this because, oh my God, I think that would actually save me. Is that the next level? Okay, so ignore all the trash talking that I just did. Um, yeah, apparently it, this is the max. That's actually crazy. And then I know, you know, Death Strider 3 don't need it because, you know, there's kind of no water anywhere in my world for now. But once I make that harbor area, it's going to make sense and then this will come in handy. Yeah, I'm actually really shocked at how fast that happened. That, that feels weird. Oh, uh, hey, look, another Tade. Wow, I've heard great things about you guys. Uh, just go in there. Wait, do I have flame? I don't have flame. Wow, what is... Like, oh, no, 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 okay, never mind, no, no. Don't, don't even complain about it. Don't even mention it. That is good, good, good job. I think what we should do now, like, th this is gonna suck. We need to do that iron... Mm, no, we have to do the iron farm first. Because uh, I need hoppers for a bamboo farm. And we need to make a bamboo farm so that then I can get endless sticks. So that then I don't have to keep on chopping down the trees and wasting my axe for it. <sighs> God, we have so much work to do. Okay, so iron farm. We should make it out of cobbled deep slate, actually. Make it like a nice dark iron farm, you know? And it's totally not because I just need to build it with stone and I don't have any stone, you know? It's not because of that whatsoever. Um, if that's not enough blocks, I think then we use calcite because it's just so easy to build really nicely with black and white. Like, it's not even a challenge. So we got all of the... What are... Oh... Okay, hi. I guess someone fully grow, uh, grew up. Cool. Uh, was the other one? Not in there. Uh, Houston, we have a problem. We have a loose frog somewhere. I don't know if, if I trust myself enough to do this, but like, I kind of want to try building this without a tutorial. No, that's a really bad idea. Uh, so we have a huge issue. So, it, just for the aesthetics of it, I know that I can make other blocks into railings as well, or like walls as well. However, I just really want to use diorite walls because the first four letters of it is Dior, and you know, we love that. God, I really wish that I could use calcite. Really wish that calcite would have worked. Uh, we could have probably done calcite and then maybe use some of our sand, like turn that into glass, and then we probably would have had no, no, because the iron golem would have spawned in it. So, never mind. But we now need, like, if I need to make more diorite, you know, it's cobblestone then, and then nether quartz, which, wow, what a shock. You get that from the nether. And then I need a, a lava bucket. I completely forgot about that somehow. <laughs> God, dude, I want to cry. Oh, uh, dude, like, I, I, like, I'm so genuinely just, like, hurt by all of this. Um, basically, I need to continue breaking the one block. And I know that, like, I could just do it with the, the pillager, like, not there, you know? Like, I don't have to, like, try and, um, like... You know, keep the pillager with me in the boat because that just slows me down immensely. But I just want to get it over with. So I feel like, you know, if we just do it now instead of waiting for it in the future, it's just going to be easier on us. But oh my god, dude, I don't want to do this. Why, hello there, my little princess. You're the last of your kind. I hope you're ready to join everyone in the fence. <laughs> That's such a stupid, like, Distance for a joke. Oh god. Oh! oh. Hello there. Oh, nice. Okay, so there's two of you. Uh, 
I think in one of the episodes, we'll actually go through and just make sheep of every single color and then we'll have a farm. But then another part of me is like, oh, wow, never once in my life have I ever used, you know, like the colors of like any of the sheep other than white. Oh, yes, yes, Rogi, Rogi. Oh, okay, okay, uh, these... These might actually be really important to save. So the reason why I want to save him is because he has a helmet on. He has a helmet and he has boots. So we're going to test this out and we're going to see how long he actually stays here. But I think we can actually use him for the iron farm. Oh, I think that's more frogs. Oh, I think I heard him. Yes. Ow. Oh, finally. Okay, good, good. We got another green one. I made myself some high chocolate. My guys, it's so good. Okay, now I, I'm loving the frogs, but like, can I get a little bit like less of them? I'm not entirely sure if that zombie is actually staying there because it's wearing the armor or if it's just because I'm right there. Let's just run all the way down here. Let's get as far away as possible. Okay, hopefully I'm far enough away. Also, uh, are you kidding me? I don't know why I'm not lighting it up, but yeah, let's just completely remove all possibilities uh can things spawn over here okay you should all be safe now because for whatever reason when it actually matters you don't want to spawn in an iron golem god forbid you do <gasps> oh oh my god oh my god oh dude this is not a drill oh my god i can finally get rid of you where are you where are you going no stop stop what are you doing no no really Real, oh, oh, right, oh, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. No, no, I got you, Chief. Yeah, yeah. you just want to go over here to the dangerous area. Here, what if I put you? Can I? Can I put you in there and then? Okay, am I skilled enough? To, oh, oh my God, I'm so skilled. Okay, good, good. Okay, I could like cut corners like that. Okay, interesting. You know, you almost unalived yourself, but that's cool. My God, we can actually make progress on this bad boy. Watch this. Watch this. Wow, look at the speed of this. Oh my gosh. Okay, everyone, please hold on to your keyboards. I'm about to blow your mind. So I have 53 diamonds, and for once in my entire life, let's just start using them. But we have all of those villagers over there, so if I'm ever like, oh, let's go and, you know, get some diamond tools or some diamond armor, then I'm just going to make an armorer or, like, a uh, weaponsmith, and then we'll just get all of our diamond stuff that way if it comes to that. Okay, cool, cool. Okay, I'm liking these enemies. Now, is it wrong that I kind of want to save one of the slimes? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, good, good. Now everyone come over here. I want to get one of the mo- oh, Dude, I can make them all have mohawks. Oh, we're on 100% doing that. Wait, can I pick you guys up? I can't. Okay, well, that sucks. But uh, any who's here, just come over here. Oh my Jesus Christ. Oh my God, we almost just lost the world. Oh my God. Okay, let me not get close to you. I wasn't expecting to get hit by One Punch Man. I forgot his name, sorry. I'm about to start reading that manga though. I'm almost done with Demon Slayer. Put that in the video. I want to capture all the weebs. And at this point, I'm about 95% certain that they never despawn if I keep them in boats. And I'm trying to think of how I can use that to my advantage other than I could just have a lot of really cool mobs everywhere. I just don't know how I want to storm. So if you can leave a comment about your idea of what should I do with all of my mobs in boats, greatly would appreciate it. Especially, oh, the pillagers were going to make the harbor because of har. Oh, hello, your highness. Oh, two highness. Oh! <gasps> Are you kidding? Dog. They can, they, oh my God, they love slimes. Really? What's your issue? Oh my God, dude. Okay, fine. Let me break this. I Really? Okay, well, I guess technically you now have a mohawk, so I, I guess that's fine. I, I was hoping more of like a mohawk like this one. They're so cute going up the, uh, the stairs. Uh, oh, I could put you guys on the little hedge over there. Okay, I'm down. Don't worry, you guys are doing your best. That's all that I could ask for. Actually, I'm really scared of having you guys get next to those frogs because I don't want them to suck you up. Yeah, let's just go down here. And then I guess all future slimes, I'm going to try and just capture them instead of killing them. Because like I'll, I'll, I'll need the uh, the slimes, but I'm pretty sure they'll just always spawn in randomly. So, you know, if we ever need slimes, we just keep going through the one block really fast. 
Oh, yes! And, ow. Okay, we just need to make all of you into smaller ones. Mainly because I don't think the bigger ones can actually go into the boats, but yeah. Yes. Yes, my army of green squares. Yes. Jesus Christ, we have so many frogs. Do I need to keep all of these frogs? Like, are, are they hard to uh, to breed? Or uh, am I doing something smart? Like, I, I've never really messed with frogs before. But, like, this is starting to get a little ridiculous. Ha. Eh. Like, it's not bad. Like, it's, it's cool. Like, it's pretty cool. It's just, oh, my God. It's so cool. Please. Please just give me any biome now like literally any biome at all that just gives me lava that, uh, that, that's all i want that the only thing i feel like that's not really that big of a request by the way like i feel like that's like actually pretty tiny is it just me or do i move really fast crouching like this feels like almost twice the speed as someone who crouches wait now i'm really slow do you move faster when you're around the one block <gasps> oh my god oh Dude, it's another! Oh! Oh my gosh. Please. Please. I just want- I, I, I just want lava, please. Oh my gosh, this, some lava will literally fix all of my problems. Oh, hi. <gasps> no, you're shaking. Ah, yeah, they're just gonna change. Because I was thinking, since they were spawning to the overworld, like, maybe they would somehow be able to survive out here, and then I could just make a, uh, like, a gold trader arm. Please. I am begging you. Please. I'm going to... Why are you all staring at me? That's weird. Ah! No, 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 no. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Uh. Uh. Is anything on fire? Okay. Doesn't look like anything is bright. Okay, I think we're safe. Oh my god, I completely forgot about blazes. Oh, wait, but I'm getting... Oh, hi. Hi. No, no. <gasps> wait. Oh. Do I want to keep him? Like, I feel like that'd be such a flex, you know, just to have um, an undead hoglin in here, you know? Hey, bud, over over here. You, uh, you okay? Oh, my Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Get out, stupid. There we go. Okay. Okay, well, I'm just going to take the wild assumption here and say that no, you can't. And put him into a boat. So can I put him on a lead? Maybe. Think about. Oh my God! You can't. What? Is he gonna despawn though? God, where do? Uh, hmm. Okay, we need to figure out somewhere to actually put him. Okay, so if I have him go down here. Okay, so it might be a little overkill and a little silly looking, but if I can actually lead them all the way down here, I'm trying to give myself a lot of space, and we're obviously going to start from the back, because, you know, like, you always got to start at the back, and then boom, we're just going to tie them up to these little fences, and then I could just keep on adding more of them, you know, later on. I think I'm only going to add one per post, you know, like I was doing with the LAs. It might be the smartest route, so that... In case in the future, if I, you know, whenever I need to move them, then boom, they, uh, they won't all get out at once and attack me. Did he despawn? Okay. So that would be a yes. Maybe I do need to go and get a, um, a lovely little name tag trade. Maybe we should do that because, you know, I just went through all of that effort of making all of that for our little sunshine. But yeah, if it's not going to work, then, you know, we need to go get those name tags and then boom, we name them and then he just doesn't despawn. And of course, I've never gotten a name tag before because I'm actually, dude, I'm actually really shocked that I've never got one from the one block. But at the very least, I'm not really like hurt by it despawning because let's be honest it's going to be happening a whole metric ton now we need to we need we need to be smart about this um um uh, i feel like it's probably the safest to just focus on our book trade because then you know i just get bookshelves from them so that's not that bad okay well since we need to, uh, to get probably like close to a thousand emeralds so we could do everything well don't mind me time to go and chop down all of these every single tree in here Woo. all righty time to get down to business so now if i go to you curse of binding 
Oh, we finally got lanterns though, which that one. Okay, wait, which one actually gives me? Wow. Okay, you give me astronomically more, which I do really want a lot of you. So not bad. It kind of sucks that it's the default one, but then now we get glass, which I very obviously need you for the future. Oh, <gasps> yes. Okay, thank God we at least. I, like, was it, was it librarians? Like where there was like a chance for at the end, they don't sell you a name tag or was it something else? I remember there was one thing that you had to be careful of. Wait, do I not have an anvil? Really? I never made one? Okay. Could have sworn it. I did. Oh God. <sighs> Dude, <laughs> why does it have to be so hard for me? Why, why must everything be so difficult? Okay, so first what we need to do, so I'm safe, is we need to go and start um, saying hello to all of the mobs down here. We need to get a lot of skeletons so I can get a lot of arrows. Did I just kill a baby skeleton? Like, right there? That looked way too tiny to be an actual skeleton. I just realized that squids is actually a silly goose. I actually don't need arrows at all. Uh... Really fast, if you're enjoying the video, it'd mean a lot to me if you'd subscribe. It helps us continue creating videos like this. Thank you very much. Okay, so since we need a lot of iron, well, lucky for me, we have, you know, a pretty uh, unique iron farm. By the way, uh, the entire Tade generation, I just want you guys to know that if you ever pick up the iron in here, yeah, I will kill you all. Just want that to be known. I know, I literally just killed your brother, the other Tranquility. Why are you watching me kill him? You're making it so awkward for me. Um... Okay, now, now comes like a really tricky part. Uh, I don't know how to, how to grab that. Okay, so what we need to do is do that. And then, oh my God, that works so well. And then you, the right there. You smell spicy like that or like, no, no, yeah, definitely like that. Okay, don't put that in. It's gonna make me look stupid. <gasps> Are you kidding? I hate this game so much, man. Are you kidding me? So because you guys had to spawn one in, you spawn it out here, and then he kills the like the, the, the little flying rat that I've had for the past, like, what, 20 days now? 10 days now? Awesome. Well, then here, let's, let's just keep you over on this side. You should be close enough to them that they're not going to spawn in anyone else. Oh my god, dude. Oh, and he killed the zombie. Awesome, dude. Oh, wow. That, that's that's so cool. Okay, I'm going to kill you now. Alrighty, so don't mind me, guys. Now I have to focus on you so that then the next stupid golem that you make goes in there, not out here, and then, you know, just set me back quite a way. Yeah, I actually hope that zombies can spawn in the nether phase. That's really going to suck if they can't. What? Yes! No! Okay, it's two of you now. Okay, well, um, I can only take one of you, okay? So I'm sorry, Mr. Oinkers. Yes, your little, little oinky oinky. Well, don't be shy. I'm sorry for making those jokes. Dude, are you... Come on. Come on. Why are you running from me? You're the bad guy. I'm... Stay away from the edge. There you go. Yes, yes, that's a good princess. He don't bite. Hoglin named Princess Strawberry Cupcake. There you go. Don't don't touch me though. But okay. But now that you're named Spicy Pig, you you should be permanent. I don't think there's any way for it to despawn. Uh, now that you know yeah, more than one can spawn in at a time. Hi, bud. Okay, you give me all you can. Okay, cool. I got two. <laughs> Alrighty, game. Give me more Spicy Piggies. No. <laughs> Please stop spawning them. Oh my god, there's a second one all the way up there. Please stop. Please stop. Please, 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 please. Oh my god, there's another fire. Jesus Christ, dude. Come on. Like, seriously? Dude, I just want lava. I just want lava, and then I'm not touching this for like seven movies. Like, why am I getting sand? Why am I getting prismarine or mud? Moss? Now, I don't know much about striders. I don't know if I, like, if I can even put them in a boat. I don't know if I need to name tag them for them to stay safe. Can I pick you up? I can. Okay. So we can pick you up. Um, honestly, here, let's do a test. Can I put you in a boat? I can put you in a boat. You know what? Here, uh, you'll stay right there, shivering, super duper cold, and you'll be the slime's guardian, okay? So you just keep an eye on them. Make sure that the froggies don't go over there and eat them, okay? So originally, I wasn't planning on this. Either if I get enough obsidian to go to the nether, we will, and then I'll just get lava that way. Because I just need one lava. That's all I need. I just need one lava. One lava. <gasps> 
Oh my god, we're never touching this again. Oh my god, yes. I kind of want to break it until we get some kind of light block, like glowstone or a shroom light. That was legit destroying my ears. Hate gas. I don't understand why Mojang has such a difficult time with audio. Like they just don't understand like, oh yeah, we shouldn't have Enderman and gas be loud enough to rupture an eardrum. And then you have everything else in the game, like normal volume. Okay, I don't know why I'm still doing this. I'm so stupid. I'm so stupid. I'm just, I'm, I'm making stupid mistakes. I'm going to lose my entire platform. I, I just know it. Yep, and now it's starting. Awesome, dude. I hear more fire, but I think it was because they were on fire. Okay, dude, I, I think, I think we're safe. I think we're fine. I kind of want to save these guys, actually. I remember I did that in the, like, last couple of series. God, I'm not trying to hit you guys, I swear. I'm trying to hit the ones that are above you for some reason. Jesus. Oh my god. Okay, finally. Um, uh, let's actually be smart. Okay, we're not gonna save them around here. What we're gonna do is take both of these. Luckily, you guys don't burn up in the daylight, so come on. Okay, so then we're gonna go like this. Yep, going to there. Perfect. Okay. Mwah, I love you. Uh, originally, you know, I really wanted to stop on like some glowstone or something, but I something's telling me I'm never gonna get that. <gasps> I got close down. Oh my god, I actually got it. Okay, whew, not touching you. So at least now we have like a cool block in the center that just like lights up. So that that's awesome. I like that. Oh my god, we're not touching that block again for the rest of the movie. <laughs> now, let's see. I mean, like there's not really any safe places to put a lava farm. Um, I think our best bet is actually just to do it down here because... Yeah, no, we can just put it down here with the iron farm. And then it's super fast, trust me. It does not take long whatsoever. It's not like it's going to take the entire movie for this one cauldron to fill, but then boom, now we have unlimited lava. Hi, buddy. I'm sorry, I love your name, but I do need to get rid of you. And then I need you guys to keep spawning in here, okay? Don't spawn outside of the, the little box. Please don't tell me that you guys already spawned in one. Please don't be over here. <sighs> oh my god. Dude, he killed everything, man. You've got to be kidding me, man. Okay, you know, we're going to baby proof this area so that, you know, the stupid iron bastard <laughs> can't come over here anymore and just ruin everything. Well, it's ugly, but this should be impossible for an iron golem to get through this. Like, there, there's... I'm, I'd actually be really surprised if he managed to find out a way. Oh, hi. Yeah, we might as well just continue it this way. So, I'm about, like say like a very solid 10% certain that this is going to work. I don't think you need a source block, you know, uh, over every single cauldron for it to actually work. Like I, I think, but you know, hey, if I'm thinking then that, that's how you know it's going to work. Okay. So I think it needs to drop from the tip. Yeah, that's not a good sign. So this one over here is actually, you know, dropping down and actually working, but the other two are not doing that animation. Oh, that sucks. Uh, I'm not gonna remove these at all because I, I'm just gonna have to do this in the future anyway. So basically it's just a waiting game with you. Oh, wait, 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 whoa. Oh, wait a second. Okay, so I think it's source block goes the fastest and then every block away from the source block, they just go slower. I'm actually very positive that's how that works. Yeah, yeah, see, so it's already going. I don't know why this is dropping more than this one, but whatever. Uh, so here, even though we don't have that much iron to make the rest of the hoppers that we need, and I still need to make diorite walls, and we still need lava, and we still need basically everything, uh, we should probably actually start building the iron farm. So wow, how do we want to build it? Because we kind of, oh God, I think we have to use stone for it. I'm way too scared to make it out of wood since it's going to be lava there. I mean, I can kind of contain the lava, but like not really. What if we use calcite? Like I've never built with calcite before, but I've always wanted to and I always collect it in like every world that I make. So it's like, hey, well, we'll try that. Maybe we use tough for the area around the collection so where the lava goes and we'll have some cobbled deep slate just for uh aesthetic backup oh <gasps> no way okay so we do have lava yeah i wonder if i should actually i think i should actually just take that lava and put it in the center one because 
These two do not drop as fast as this one, and that does worry me. So yeah, we'll just drop you there. Okay, so it should hopefully be going faster. Trust me, I know there's lava farms. There's way more efficient ways to do it. We might do it in the future. I don't know. Okay, but I think I have some quartz, like some uh, another right quartz to actually make more of those diorite walls. But yeah, we'll just do that later. Now for you, maybe we start white all the way around it, and we kind of just make our way in. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, okay, okay. Here, I have an idea. Okay, so maybe what we do is just go two out on each side. I think that's a pretty decent size. Like, we don't need it to be massive. So not bad. I actually almost ran out of uh, cobbled deep slate. But, you know, I'm thinking dark outer. And then it goes into white. I don't know how much white. Okay, so then this is when it gets tricky. I don't know if I should just immediately go into tough. Or maybe, like, if we do the, uh, the, 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 a border with cobbled deep slate. This might look nicer. I'm thinking, you know, like that, that might be really nice. And then we just have the chest right here. Actually, oh, no, 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 chest right here. And then this is where all the hoppers are. I mean, I think that's all right for now. Like in the future, we can come back and redo this if we really want to. Those, okay, so we need to make two more hoppers. I need my lava buckets and we need a metric ton more of walls, like maybe, 80 more? I think 80 more. Oh, and I need a name tag. Okay. So let's do that before we actually start building it because, you know, we're going to have to almost immediately stop because we kind of don't have any of the important stuff. Okay, so we got the U2. And then if I go into here, awesome. We have eight. Wow, that's going to allow me to make so many. About 72 more to go. Uh. You know, we'll just come back to it in the future, but here, we'll just make walls out of these at least. Then, don't mind me, need to go and get a lot of sticks, because we need to get a lot more emeralds. Okay, with that finally done, let's just quickly try to do as many trades as we can today before... Can't refresh your trades. Actually, no, never mind. I think it's already too late for that. Okay, nice. Once again, basically... So every time that we do this, we practically just get, like, two and a half stacks. Or just, nah, we'll, we'll just say two stacks. Okay, so for you, yeah, just, just give, give me three, that uh, should be fine. Okay, I don't think we need anything else. We're gonna name it the greatest thing in the world that everyone should do, boom. Okay, so at least now we're done with you. I'm trying to think of anything that we can do while we wait. Oh, no, actually, we don't need to wait on the lava because the lava is kind of like the last thing that you do on the farm. So, I think, and we don't even have to wait for lava. Hello, gorgeous. Um, I'm not going to put you up there, but uh, I'm just going to actually use you. Okay, so we got the lava. We have the name tag. Uh, we got the three villagers. We just now need the zombie again. That's cool. But honestly, we'll just take away the torches and then we'll just spawn the zombie like right here. But I think we're ready and good to go. I want to plan this out to where chest goes right here. And then we're going to have the, all of the hoppers lead in from here and 11, 12. I think that should be high enough. As confusing and as messy as this looks, I think I mapped it out like entirely properly. The one thing that I want to go do right now is I completely forgot about it is um, I don't want to build with solid blocks like that. I would like to be able to see the villagers just in case if they ever accidentally turn into zombies. Uh, I don't know how much glass I need, but I do know I need more than that. I feel like I should mention I'm kind of going off of my own design here. Like I, I'm, I know the general idea from Waddles, so... Like I don't entirely need to follow his tutorial. I've done this so many times before. Okay, then I think it was like glass here. And then we don't need any glass in between these. This is when it gets a little dangerous. Perfect. Everything is going incredibly well. Please continue that way. Then I believe, yeah, I believe this is basically it. Now we just need to make it three blocks tall. Ooh, but then just for when we put in the zombie, just so the farm doesn't activate immediately, boom. We put all of those there so that then they can't see each other. Put glass on top. Okay, we might actually be okay to move in the villagers in here. Yeah, I think we can go do that. And very luckily, because we have the carry-on mod, my god, is that gonna be easy. Okay, let's go, Tades. And boop. Yeah, nice, I didn't fall to my death. Okay, so we got all the Tades in here. I think everything is good to go. There's this. Next up, so sadly, I can't carry a zombie. I really wish that I could. So we need to go and actually make a staircase for the zombie, which this might be a little difficult to calculate it 
There's no shot. I made that perfect. God, dude, I love my luck so much. Oh my goodness, dude. My luck is actually insane. Okay, so then we're just going to make a... No, 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 not, not going to do that. Phew, thank you. I actually gave it back. Okay, so we're going to make a two block tall wall right here so that then the zombie is forced to only go straight, which hoping to God he actually just goes in like that. So I think we're ready. And honestly, okay, this is, this is when it's going to get a little scary. So we're going to get rid of all these torches right here. And then we're just going to have to hope that something actually spawns like right, right around here. Very, very hopeful. Now, let's see. If I just camp right here, can we get lucky enough to have them spawn right there? Just please be a zombie. I think as soon as the zombie spawns in, I need to rush in and just put down torches so nothing else spawns. Okay, am I just too close? Please do not tell me that I need to, like, have a zombie spawn in there and then bring them all the way up. There we go. That's what I like to see. Okay, you follow me. Follow me. There you go. That seems so scripted that it was a zombie on the first try, but I swear to God, it was by itself. So, please fall. There we go. Cool. Because I've had it before where the zombie just somehow walked over it. Okay, so then we just need to name tag you. You never disappear. Boom, there we go. Now we just go sleep. And let's see, is our beauty still here? Okay, nice. So, I mean, you can remove the trap door, but I'm just not going to. Ooh, also here, let's just remove a little bit of... Are you serious? Now you spawn in? Who designed this? Who who designed this and said, oh yeah, those are good trades. I would trade an emerald for a fern. Lame. Oh, well, well, we at least got two leads. So that just replaced the one that just accidentally went into the void because of the, uh, the, the little um, flying blue thing. I should really just watch the tutorial. I don't know why I'm trying to do this myself. Like, let's be honest, I'm going to mess it up. I just want to see if I can actually do this from memory. Like, I, I want to see how good I am. Uh, this is the hard part. I Oh, no, 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 because it drops off right here. So, yikes. Um, I, I think it stops there. I don't think you bring it over once. I think that's correct. And then you obviously go around. I'm pretty sure that's basically it. I don't think there's really anything else. Like, I think I did it right. No idea. If I put you there... Okay, good, good. It actually does stop. Okay, built that correctly. So that means that there shouldn't be any issue there. Shouldn't be... I'm so scared of just falling. But I don't think that the Iron Golem can get stuck on anything there. He should immediately go here and just fall straight down. I don't think I bring that forward one. But I, I'm pretty sure I did all of this correctly. Um, next we have an issue of getting down and coming back up with water. Oh, uh, actually, no, we don't have an issue. <gasps> All my torches. Dang it. No, I lost one. <gasps> and then grab one more and then you go right there. And now I think the farm is done. Like here, we could test it out if we don't move at all. Wow, this is lightning speed. I hope I meet the height requirements to go on this roller coaster. I just realized... Wait, 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 wait. Why? Oh, I didn't put the signs. Oh, dude. Okay, yeah. Okay, now we're good. I think everything's still going, like, perfectly fine. This is sick. Now, since all of those walls up there are the same, I don't know why, but I thought it was going to be so much more walls. But no, the other walls go down here. I think actually having granite railing down here would be so much better than having the, uh, the the diorite, I think it was. You can do it like this, but I really want to use glass panes, but I don't know how panes are going to look on top of this. It might look really stupid. Like this already is starting to look pretty stupid to me. So I think we need to change how this is going. I really don't like that. So maybe what we do is we break the bottom layer. And then how would you look with cobblestone walls? Maybe? But maybe this is fine. And then we use some uh, glass panes. Before we make our decision, let's make it one more taller. Why? Oh, God, it's not connected glass. Survey says... I mean, it... It's not bad. I think it would be better if the panes were red. I, I, I genuinely think that we have to use red paints. I think red paints would make it look so good. But, oh, I do have silk touch. Okay. Yeah, we have silk touch. Okay, you know what? Here, let's go make a brand new pick for it then. We got a brand new one. Then we come over here. Then we got bop, boom, top four. And then we'll just call this one silk. There we go. We'll just call it no milk, only silk, even though I like almond milk more. Actually, no, not almond milk. Oh, yeah, yeah, almond milk. I don't know why I'm saying that. Literally, no one cares. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel like this is such a better choice for it. Ooh, I'm actually excited for this one. 
shoes and see luckily it didn't lose anything okay boom all 64 please tell me i have enough please oh let's go okay so we can fit all 64 into there now does it look good i okay well i hate that why do you why do you do that? That's that's really stupid. Okay, that ruins it, but I think I like this. Like it's just it's a cooler design than just having it like all like cobble going all the way up or the corners being, you know, cobble and then the center being glass. Like it it's a new design. And then at the very least, it kind of makes it look like it's just like a giant furnace, like everything's on fire. <sighs> like all this like pain and suffering, and then boom, there's gonna be an iron golem in there. So I think that works like perfectly fine. Okay, so I think bottom layer you don't do. I think it was this layer that needs the signs. Okay, so this should be correct. Shouldn't be any issues. Perfect. Yeah, I think that's high enough to where none of the iron should get affected. The only thing is in the future, we might have to swap out all of these uh, cobblestone walls with some hoppers because I do know that the iron can fall in between that. And at least for right now, actually probably forever because if I ever get like a super mega surplus of iron, I'm just gonna sell it to some of the, uh, the villagers. So I think regardless, we'll have to swap it out. But since that is pretty similar in color to this one, like it's just like a bit darker shouldn't change the aesthetic to this whatsoever and really we could just move the uh, the cobblestone wall out just to cover up all of those um hoppers but i think this is completely good to go i don't think there's anything wrong with this i don't think i messed up anything at all so come back up here hi boys who's ready oh jesus Christ. oh god stop stop doing that there we go yeah yeah you guys are ready to go and hang out with the neighbor's kid yeah i know he's a little weird but come on he might be really cool uh, it's already going are you kidding wait what okay dear god that worked i only broke like two of the uh the little blocks up there and then immediately they just start working so sweet what happened to all the iron i don't think that's physically possible for them to just not drop anything oh my god you're you're swimming how? How are you swimming up? What? Huh? Wait, I have never once in my life seen an iron golem swim. Okay, well here, what if I just remove all of these? Can you guys not fly off the edge, please? Dude, it's swimming. I'm so confused. But you know what, fine, here. Well, let's just not use any of these at all. How about that? There you go, yeah, target me, yeah, yeah, come over here, I hit you, ooh, what you gonna do? Okay, see, nice, nice, we actually got some stuff. So bizarre, dude, how do I get the weirdest issues ever? And then we mix some of you, so I think we have black uh, pane glass around the hoppers. It should still be good, we should still get the same aesthetic from using uh, cobblestone walls and stuff. So for the first time in all of Minecraft history, is it just because... I'm me or something like I, I can't think of any reason on why my iron golem was swimming in lava like it first time I've ever seen an iron golem swim but yeah see so having the black uh panes down here I think that fits very well with the hoppers and would you look at that we can still see the tough block so it wasn't a waste now if I get close to you are you able to swim no okay so note to self don't ever use walls in this only use panes so weird however everyone we're actually set like we're so good now we finally have infinite iron we never need to worry about it again i'm not gonna lie i don't remember why i needed iron <laughs> but uh hey uh, at least we have that now i think our next move that we could do is either start on the staircase over there or we can start on our cobblestone farm which we also need to build an area for that because I want to make a very nice one with like hoppers in it that like, you know, collect stuff for you. you. Want it to be very nice and long, not like that. So let's be smart first, you know, when we're building this, um, this lovely bridge here. We're just going to make a lot of you because I do not care about these blocks falling into the void. We should also make some kind of water elevator system here. I mean, we, we could actually right now, we could put some, uh, some soul sand, you know, and just blast off like that or, but any who's, okay, so let's see, can I pre? predict how good this could be actually wait because depending on where that is i mean we're already pretty much lined up oh <gasps> and the iron farm does work so that's amazing but i mean we're lined up right here basically let's see because i want the river to go right here which this kind of sucks so maybe we have the river go farther out 
So this part right here will just go by, you know, just like a, a half of a slab. We're not going to drag you out whatsoever just to hopefully get you high enough to where we can at least travel under it with a boat. That, that's my biggest idea right now for the river. So I think right here should be good. So now we should go forward like one, two, three, eh, seven blocks. And then we'll go up here. And then, yeah, it's just right there. So, boom. Yeah, I think, I think that's good. So, very luckily, in this plant, I don't, again, I don't know why I want to do a bridge like this, but, you know, let's just do it. So, not too bad. No matter what, I don't think we could change how we have it right here. I think this has to go up that steep. But, like, I think I'm okay with how this looks. Okay, so, we need to figure out what do we want to use with it because I really want to make it, I kind of want to make it like predominantly out of stone. Yeah, I think that would look best with stone because we just have way too much wood and we need to start incorporating stone everywhere. Like we, we need to start splashing that around and probably replacing some of the wood with stone. So let's actually go and make a cobblestone farm. Don't do that noise, that, that's weird. Okay, so we need to already have some kind of cobblestone to make the cobblestone farm, so. I think, oh God, I, uh, because we need to make a stone area so I don't have to worry about any of the lava ever messing it up. Um, that seems to be our farming area for literally no reason whatsoever. Probably should put it over here, if I'm being honest, even though the lava farm's down there. Uh, we could just make it three blocks wide here. And then, it, well, then I don't think this is going to be the permanent spot for it. Uh, I don't like this area being a cobblestone area. You know, we, we definitely need to move it somewhere else. Maybe down there. Actually, wait, no, I like that a lot more right now. Here, let's just start building it down there, and then we'll just, you know, replace the blocks over time to make them pretty. So that's cool. I'm not wasted, like, what, 15 blocks? So then, yeah, I think we just make this one three. So here, we'll just go up. Okay, nice. So just used up all of that strictly on the bridge. So that's good. <laughs> And this is why I would like a water elevator to go back up. Now, it's going to look a little weird right now. I think we're definitely going to expand it, like right now, but also in the future, just so we have even more room. But I think there should be, you know, like, like a good size for now. Um, I, originally, I wasn't planning on making the permanent cobblestone farm, but we might have to because I'm running dangerously low. This should be interesting. So can I make a cobblestone farm with 11 slabs? That is not going to go well whatsoever, but let's see. What do you do? Okay. And then if I do it to you, not like that. Mm -mm. That actually works for like a good second. Okay, so we're we're actually in the right direction. I just need to do this a few more times so that I can get enough cobblestone to complete this farm. Okay, then I can get rid of you and then I can put you. Then there's the water. Okay, so I think I can get rid of you and then I just stay right. right um don't forget to put your lava source one block up so that then the water can't make it obsidian i like how this is like unironically working though <laughs> like i'm at least getting cobblestone so i can actually make the real farm i kind of want to kill those glow squid i'm not gonna lie kind of i kind of want to kill them just to like get their ink sacks yeah like i Really, truly don't care for them. Dude, are you actively swimming away from me? You know what? Fine, whatever. I. Oh my god, what the hell? I can't hit- I feel like a cat, like, and an owner's playing with, like, a, uh, a laser toy with me. Dude, how is this happening? There, there is no way that this is natural. Like, they, I feel like they shouldn't be spawning that rapidly in. That had to have been a visual bug, right? Let's plug that back up. And then, here, let's build a better one. Okay, so now that we have 20 blocks to work with, wow we that's so much more. So, okay, so water here, you go down to this block. We don't want it to go anywhere, so we put block, block, and then maybe we just mirror it, really. Like, I think that should actually be totally fine. If we mirror this, neither of the source blocks should ever touch each other. They should both meet down here in the center. Like, I, I think that's okay. Okay, so let's put down the lava first because you're a lot slower. Once you go there, boom, there goes the bo No, my Jesus Christ. Okay, no, 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 not like that. God, you're annoying. Okay, what if I, okay, nope. Mm. 
You know what? It, it's working. It's it's working. It's not correct whatsoever, but it's working. And I guess screw it. You know, let's just have it like this. Uh, I feel like I should probably plug a hole then. Okay, but I can't remove you. Okay, cool. Yeah, this is just such a bizarre farm, but you know, this is definitely not the permanent one. So not bad. Basically, we just got two stacks from just mining that entire day. And that's like an incredibly inefficient bad farm. But at least now we have some cobblestone. So we can start that bridge right there. But I think I need to go and cook all of this cobblestone because I want to use like actual stone stuff predominantly for it. And I mean, I guess we can like kind of begin the bridge like somewhat start replacing all of it with some stone stuff wow that was so much work a oh, golly we were able to do a lot hello there my amazing tades don't worry you guys are gonna go and hang out with all of your cousins and grandparents i god i didn't mean to do this uh you know, i should be able to get out before they can okay good Woo! That was the most exciting thing to happen in any of their lives in the past, like, 50 days. I don't trust you, uh, Top Burn. Oop. Missed him. Oh, God, the sequel's here. Bioelectronic Data Destruction Android. You can stay. Just the fact that it's an entire sentence for his name. He can stay. Yeah, yeah no, he, he's cool. He's pretty chill. Okay, so we can actually... Uh, here, let's see. Uh, I want 22 stone bricks, and then let's get 22 regular slabs. This should allow us to make an okay-ish amount onto the bridge. Okay, so... Do, 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 do. We need to figure out how much can I put on each side. Now, I'm by no means an expert on, like, doing all this. Actually, no, here, I really, really don't like that. We need to swap you up. Yeah, I'm no, like, expert on, like, texturing. I'm gonna attempt that with this bridge, because that's just a building style that I've never dived into, but hopefully this can turn out nice. I think in the future, I'm gonna, well, I think later on, I'm just gonna go through and replace some of these with moss, maybe some, like, mossy cobblestone as well. I think that would also be a very, very nice fit, and... I need you gone. Cool. That's exactly what I wanted. Okay, so I made some more of like a, of all those slabs and just you know, messing around with some texturing. I, I think I kind of understand it's where like if you have cobblestone, you should probably lead it straight into stone and then stone leads into the brick. So like it kind of just like looks like weathered down in a sense, you know, but this is a lot cheaper than I was expecting. I honestly thought that this bridge was going to be like a like a pretty decent project that was going to take its on. Probably helps that I'm using slabs instead of full blocks, like I said that I was going to start doing, but, you know, I never actually ended up doing, but that's besides the point. God, I'm just trying so hard to not go back to that cobblestone generator. Okay, so the bridge is almost done, at least for all the stone part. We still need to do a whole lot more around it. We need to leave signs everywhere because I already know that future me is not going to remember, like, any of this, but I think we spend all of today and tomorrow just uh mining this just so we can get a whole lot of cobblestone because i already know that i'm going to be needing a ton of this for the next episode so we should probably you know be smart and just you know be kind to future me ta-da we ended up with five stacks well basically exactly five stacks of cobblestone so not too shabby i think we should at least cook three of these right now uh, okay good good we still have some coal in there so we got some of you. So, I mean, we can do a bit more of the bridge. If we're lucky, we might actually have enough to complete it. But ideally, I would like to finish the bridge, like the stone part of it, so I don't have to remember any of that stuff or like, I don't know, just do it next time. I'd much rather get to the next parts, which I think next we should start wrapping it with wood, which kind of defeats the purpose of making it out of stone. And then we also need some leaves and we need some moss. I think all of that together will actually make this look very completed. Um, mm, okay. Mm, wow, I really don't like that. Oh, God, dude, we can actually see all of the birch as well. Man, I was using birch to not see it, like to, to, to hide it later on. Um, maybe we just bring this up by one, even though I just put down all of these, but I really, really want to hide that, but I don't want to bring this around. I kind of like it being open. And done. Okay, so yeah, we need to add something there to cover that up. I love it how, like, you could just immediately start walking on the moss, which, you know, it's just supposed to be like a, like puffy grass. Like it's a little bit higher, you know, it's a little bit overgrown. 
have all of this. So now when I'm over here, I don't have to run all the way around. I can then run all the way down here and then go down there and then go back up all of these stairs to then go back over there. So, you know, if you want to take the long scenic route, you can, you know, it's somewhat good. <laughs> But at the very least, this is entirely done, so I don't need to try and, like, texture a bridge going up and down. This is, in, like, awesome, though. Like, I I'm actually excited to see this done, because I kind of want to make it, like, nice and, like, fat on the edges. We should actually do that for next time. We, we should start it a little bit. So we got a little bit of time, but we might be able to do that. And then we need to go and uh, get some signs and then just leave it at uh, all of the new areas. So I don't forget how to do them. I kind of think I need anything else. We can go back later with like some trap doors and some, uh, some plank paths. Actually, no, let's bring those in now. But I think that I think that's everything that I want to use for the edges to make it look beautiful. Okay, so we're cutting it insanely close. So we need to be really fast with this one. Uh, maybe we do planks on the edges of this. I think I like that idea. So then we have like a nice little like cheapy block on the side like this. I think I like that. And then the edges, we're gonna wrap with these. And I think this side, we should go like two out like that, which I just realized like I don't need to use expensive blocks on this side. <sighs> God, I'm trying to think of how do we want to do this like that? And we can probably have some leaves on top. So basically just a metric ton of leaves. And then we have some moss there with this. So I just wasted so many logs making those because like those are entirely pointless. And even, oh my God, now I'm thinking of doing some slabs here. So this is even more kind of pointless. So that's really cool. So it's not gonna entirely be a waste because we can still see them, but maybe if we do it like that. And then I would do stairs right here instead of like full entire blocks because the full blocks like way out of place. But I don't think... Alrighty, future me, I hope you can follow this. So maybe do, oh, see, now it's not useless. So now we actually use those ones, yes. Okay, so my idea is we do stairs at all of these. I then put the fancy block there. Yeah, I think that on the edges where like, it's kind of just like a bowl. So it's like a little bowl going. I, I think that would look really good. And I think just like that. Uh, the next thing is just lighting, but I, like, I'm gonna remember about lanterns and then, you know, finding it, like, maybe right there, like, right, right, right on these would probably be a really good spot for lanterns. We might also raise up, like, some of the blocks in the center, like, make it up a little bit, so, like, maybe this is up, this is down for going, like, on the stairs, and then some places right here is going to have lanterns on it so that the center can actually be lit up, because right now this is a very big uh, spawning zone, and since there's no other areas for mobs to spawn in, they're gonna hyper-focus on that, so that's literally going to turn into World War Three. Oh, dude, that's gonna look so clean when that's done. Oh, that's gonna be so nice. Love that direction. Okay, no, no, we need to do signs, because I most definitely will be forgetting some of my ideas, like making that little area down there into a, a little river. So, three signs, cool. There we go, make a river down here, kind of deep and massive spanning everywhere. I think I should understand that and remember it. And then left, up, right, down, center, build up a little to hold lanterns for light. I honestly think that we just make this entire massive hole just into green. Just, you know, some nice foliage. Does foliage have one L or two? I think it has one. I think that's all like the general things that I should remind myself about for the future episodes uh i don't know that'll be obvious that we need to you know change that that'll be obvious to do all these guys i still have all the previous signs i kind of like doing that like I, I need to do this for every single series where i just write down like on signs my ideas so that then i never forget what i was planning like in the previous episode which would have helped me out here because i don't know what my idea was with this like if you guys see someone writing a comment that like went back or like if they remember what my idea was for this please just thumbs it up like I, i'm so curious what I was doing there I don't get it and then yeah I think that was just like a bridge I could just lead off into like uh, above areas and blah 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 and then I kind of forgot what my idea was down here but I think I was making like dark underground areas where like it would be for like dark farms or something I don't know but oh I would like to think that we accomplished a lot in this episode I would like to think that we've really transformed our base and we actually accomplished a ton I, I think we did so if you guys enjoyed the episode I need to get over this there we go so if you guys enjoyed the episode and you would 
like to see more, please just leave a like and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode and I'll see you guys next time. See ya.